I think Jack, it was Jack Wells having 40 quarters, and he only missed it uh, two of them by a penny, and the rest he hit on the nail. Uh, when I was reading this, I thought, man, the guy should have been in Las Vegas. <laughs> he would have been more successful. And then, you know, as soon as he's over, the share price collapses. Yeah. There's just not a way to run the company. Uh, a lot of people are managing these uh, quarterly numbers with passion, and it really is to the detriment of really making your business model as robust as you can. Yeah. And 90 days minus the weekends is only like 76 days or whatever. That's not very much. Yeah. And um, so how do you drive that right behavior? We now do it uh, twice a year. We still have our performance. We don't think we have to compromise on that, but we can take the right decisions. Thanks to digitization and globalization, by the way, there is such a transparency now what is happening, such an undercurrent of dissatisfaction Arab Spring, Occupy Wall Street, all the things we see today in the newspapers. China, Beijing, pollution. Next day, the whole world sees it on its internet. Next day, China has the most stringent air emission standards for cars. There is such an underswell of dissatisfaction from the leave behinds that it took 17 days to vote the regime of Egypt out of power. If businesses don't understand that they have to be more responsible and be part of the solution, they will be voted out of power in nanoseconds.